guys, this is uh, Alex. I really haven't um, looked any detail into those papers that I last showed you guys. Um, sorry, I have really bad allergies right now. Um, I really haven't looked into those papers any more than I did over that video. Um, so I got these papers from um, Jackson's desk. I really haven't looked over them. Uh, they seem to be confidential of some sort. I, it, Derek Cadman. It's from Derek Cadman, so I don't know who that is. So, um, I'm just going to read these. Probably do like an analysis or something at the end, so I guess you could skip to the end if you want, but I'm going to read through this. I'll uh, also put the photos of it in the description so you can check that out and read that if you need to. So, I am writing to inform you of the extreme danger you and are you, you are in. I live here in, and then in this scratched out, and I have been a long-term subscriber to your channel. I've seen several of your YouTube videos, many of which are threatening in nature concerning your ex-neighbor Colin. I'm in no way, no way saying that he possesses no threat to you or your family. However, I'm not writing to you about Colin. I'm writing you about to call about the one who calls himself Screecher. This figure, who I have no reason to believe is truly a 17 year old boy named James Greenwood, possesses an extreme risk to you, your family, and everyone in this town. I have been working for the past two years of my life to uncover the secrets of James' family and a dangerous and forgotten history inside of our town. In 2002, less than 10 miles away from the center of it's the town again where he lives, a highly secretive private research lab called Ryan Hart Biotech Solutions that was shut down in United States FBI for completely unknown reasons. This cover-up has been hidden for years. This is the same lie return referenced in the papers that, y yep, Alex uncovered in the last video uploaded to your channel. I've seen the writing on the wall, and I knew that one day I would need to write to you. These are fast seem to be inevitably linked. Seeing the direct references to the lab in the last video, you have led me to believe that it's now the time to let you know the time to let you know the truth. In the 1990s, the Reinhardt lab created an experimental, experimented with highly dangerous yet groundbreaking technology that had the power to alter the emotions, dreams, and thoughts of the human mind. After the shutdown of the lab, the assistant director of the program, Robert Greenwood, was arrested and sent to prison for conducting unethical experiments on humans inside the lab. The news articles of the time say that he was arrested for possessions of illegal chemical substances. How are these going? Almost no detail on what these weapons were or were used for. Robert died in a state penitentiary in 2018 for what was described as complications due to extreme schizophrenia. Whatever was created in the lab damaged his mind beyond repair. I also believe it affected the mind of his son, James. But unlike his father, James is highly intelligent and very much alive. In the late 2016, I came across a small steel canister buried in the woods near my house which I now believe contains some piece of technology created by Reinhardt. Whoever came close to the canister was affected in an extremely negative way. For instance, I experienced heavy paranoia, nightmares, and even hallucinations while keeping this canister around my house. However, soon after finding this device, I was stuck by James for several months, who I believe is attempting to recover this canister help. Possibly to give it to his father, who was still alive at the time. As you know, James has no problem breaking and entering into a multitude of places such as Creekview Pediatric. He could have easily found a way to infiltrate whatever prison Robert was kept in. I have no idea what Robert would have done to this device, however this never came to be. James killed a friend of mine for reasons I don't understand. Another friend of mine who's also affected by this cancer became extremely strange and violent in behavior. He's blamed for the murder and taken to juvenile detention center as soon after. On that note, this farce of helping a bunch of kids calling me on the creep view 
this creature's final plan or intention. What? Dangerous than a child in a cowboy hat with a knife. I mean, I, dude, I don't believe this. I think it's just a whole bunch of BS. I, what? I think this guy is just making this crap up. I don't really... This is... This guy went to a lot of length to, uh... Make this crap up. Because I sure don't believe it, and it's... You know what, I'm gonna look at this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to this link. I'm gonna put this link in the description so y'all can go check it out, but... I'm going to look this up, I'm gonna watch this video, it's probably just completely stupid and lying and lies or whatever but I mean at this point I believe anything to be true so I, I I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at it and um, I'll uh, be back soon uh, signing out this Alex